Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. And let me just tell you, whatever you have given to someone else, it pales in comparison to what is given back to you. This is a great day. This is our, actually our 10th anniversary Mentoring Matters conference happening today. Uh, it's a, a, a forum where we bring together educators, youth serving professionals, and all those who are interested in helping youth be successful to learn, to develop their skills in areas that will support them in making sure our kids can grow up with a chance at being successful. LIU uh, Post Campus has been working with uh, the Mentoring Partnership of Long Island for over 10 years. We usually host the event on a yearly basis and we couldn't be more proud. We understand the importance of mentoring, especially as young people transition from high school to college and throughout their college career, undergoing so many challenges and so many um, questions about their future. So we actually have established a mentoring program called the LIU Promise in which we assign success coaches to every new incoming freshman student and we guide them and, and walk them through their academic career from beginning to end. AT&T this year it came through for us in a very big way. Their contribution of $20,000 to help underwrite the course of the the course of the conference and our programs is really what you know, is really what makes these things move forward. But they've also stepped up in, you know, in another very important way. And they have opened up their corporate offices to us so that we can conduct our training for people in and around the area, which allows us to be more flexible with the type of programs and services we offer. AT&T has committed itself to playing its part to end high school dropout, the rates throughout the United States of America, and we believe that mentoring is a big component of that. Um, here with the Mentoring Partnerships, we um, serve as the presenting sponsors. Well, I know it's cliche, but they do say the it, it takes a village to raise a child, and uh, we need the whole village. Um, my CEO, Randall Stevenson, recently, last night won a mentoring award for Mentoring USA, and he brought up the point that one in three um, kids will not have a mentor in their lives, and that's unfortunate. The partnership over the last 10 years has been able to help 100,000 kids just through mentoring, 8,000 this year. And the people that are here are a lot of the mentoring programs throughout the schools and churches across Long Island that and community groups that are actually doing all that great work. And we try to put this conference on every year for them so that they can learn the newest techniques and anti-bullying and leadership traits so that they can more effectively run their programs. Think of professional organizations for every religious and ethnic group that you can think of that exists in your community. There are professional organizations made up of those people. It's so amazing when my colleague Franca and I thought the mentoring community really needs to come together and she convinced me that we should do a conference. Our goal was to have 50 people come and we thought if we have 50 people who are interested in coming together that will make it worthwhile. So over these two days we have 553 people coming. So Franca was right, there definitely is a need for the mentoring community to come together, to learn together to inspire each other, to keep doing the good work. For me, this is my life. Mentoring is not something that you choose. It is a call. It's very clear that mentoring works. And to find a way to help mentors uh, become better mentors is what today is all about. So I am honored to be in the life of so many people, to be able to share uh, experiences that lead to a better tomorrow. We plant the seeds today and we reap the harvest tomorrow, but we never question if it's going to happen, we got to act as if. Scarello didn't know that the young man that she had in her fourth grade class, the only African American in an integrated class for the first time, she didn't know that he would go around the world with a message.
message of hope. She didn't know that he would sail on the Emperor's yacht, but she didn't have to know. It's better not to start mentoring if you're not committed to see it through. Because if you're in the warm-up process with the young person and you're gaining trust, you're building a relationship, and then you disappear, you're going to be fine. You're going to go back to your job or go back to your life situation. But that young person is going to be crushed. It's going to ask, well, where did this person go? They said that they were going to do this, then do that. And all you did was make it harder for the next mentor to come along because they're already going to be prejudged. I want to make sure that whatever efforts, whatever is in the heart of people, that we find a way to let it run its course through mentoring.